With three unqualified morons and microphones, this is the Previously Recorded Podcast. Guys, welcome back to Previously Recorded. Uh, I'm your host as always, RP, and this sh- this episode of Previously Recorded is brought to you by Totally Tees. For all your t-shirt needs, call Totally Tees. If you need a shirt and you don't have one, call Totally Tees, they'll get it done. done. Now if you need any I upcoming... like that that's our thing now and it's like fully improvised. Oh, it is. I like. I hate that it's our thing. Um, well, we gotta get the sponsors. we came up with it and now we have to we do it. gotta get the sponsor in there. And if you need any t-shirts, you know where to go. Totally Tees on Facebook, Instagram. Always come to us if you need some t-shirts. He's got some cool ones. He's got some uh, fresh designs. Uh, look out for your NFL teams, your uh, work events, whatever the hell you want. I'm sure Totally Tees can get it done. And I know you know those voices. Those are our award, Emmy Award winning co-hosts. Uh, nominated, nominated. Nominated, sorry. It's really soft. We yeah. we went we went mm-hmm. one for two. Um, Fingers crossed. So, uh, Roberto... Is not a winner because he's. Uh, no, I can't win. He just can't win because yeah. uh, they ref- he refused to show his face, take off his mask. Yeah. Uh, but we do have our other co-host who is a winner of the longest schlong Emmy Award. Uh, Shane, welcome back to the podcast, buddy. Well, hello. It's not for the. It's a, it was a pity. Thing. Yeah, it's right? not for bad. his size of his penis. He actually uh, found. The longest long. No, no, no. It, it, what his they, mouth is like a, a metal detector. <laughs> no, that's from his uh, his um, Woody Awards. This is more of an ironic award where they combined all of our penis sizes <laughs> and we won longest long. But it's like ironic because we have the tiny. Like it's just like it's like a it's like a ha ha. Get it? Um, that's getting cut. Uh, so <laughs> please cut it all. Please don't. No. Uh, so today, ha <laughs> Get it? So with <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that throughout the entire episode, okay, so that you have to keep that just for it to make sense. Otherwise, it's gonna be. I mean, I'm just gonna sound like an idiot, but that's fine too. Um, so we are recording this on uh, December 29th. Uh, so this may be our first podcast of 2020. So we decided to bring to you today uh, 2019 and 2020 in review. Can we have like a weird and in memoriam song? That's what I was going to put there. Okay. I was thinking dramatic music, but I like I like um <laughs> like sad yeah. instead. Um, yeah. I'll play the music I played for when Bob died and Roberto joined. Mm, uh so that was all a right. Sad day. So today's episode Bob's is going alive, to be guys. Just so you know, he's not actually dead. No, he no, made it. He pulled through? Yeah, he's doing fine. He pulled oh, through he's from finally that, out of that coma. Yeah, he's got a family now. Um <laughs> They're all imaginary, but they, they're real in his head. Yeah, he and told me. He's it's all, doing, it's, all he's, just, it's just Bob in different wigs. <laughs> it's like that, only he's very aware that, <laughs> that they're all other characters in his head. Uh, today's episode is we're going to do a 2020, 19, or 2019. 2029. 2029 year prediction. Yes. What's going to what we think what are, come out in 2029. What are favorite things coming out in 2029? Are, I'm sure Marvel has a couple things already I think Ava- for 2029. I'm I think Avatar Avatar, comes I think, out, actually. Yeah. Yeah. comes out um and that's all we got right now so uh, so um what should we call it uh so we're gonna do 2019 in review and also a look forward to 2020 and what we were most excited for least excited for don't even know what's coming don't give a shit about it uh so it's gonna be a real uh extravaganza it's gonna be a real barn burner all right so we're gonna start off hot out the gate shane what was your favorite movie of 2019 i think we all can go and we, say we know what our favorite 2019 film was was Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I was just um, say, are we excluding Endgame? I'm excluding Endgame, uh, but including Spider Man: Far From Home. All right, so I might have to go um, Shazam just because it's a rare win for DC. That's true. And I'm a big, fa- a I'm a film. big fan of DC. Uh, like not their movies though. Now let's put it on so, the table. We have not seen Ford vs Ferrari or uh, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Really want to see both of them. Haven't seen either of them yet. Yeah, same. Um, um, yeah, but just for DC to finally get something right, and maybe they're going to go in a good direction now. Well, Shazam two just got Shazam. announced, so that's yeah. that's good. Um, I would say so. You're going with Shazam, Bob. Do you, uh, uh, Roberto? Do you have? Uh, favorite? Um, Do you need um, me to come back to you? No, I'm kind of running through now. I'm, I don't know that I have a favorite right now. I'll I'm, say an honorable mention was definitely Rocket Man. I didn't see Rocket Man. I haven't I seen that. Either. I wanted to. Um, there's a, a lot of things I'm realizing that I didn't see that I wanted to. The Lighthouse was apparently really good. 
Um, I did like It Chapter 2. I thought that yeah, that yeah, lived like up that to too. the hype. Good film. Um, I did like The Joker to an extent. Yeah, which we talked about. The King on Netflix is very good. Um, that's like it's kind of Shakespearean, so which I don't know. John and then Lee. The Irishman. Irishman, yeah. Big fan of The Irishman. Good. So I think those would be the big ones that kind of stuck out for me. So if you year. could pick one movie to, for 2019 and be like, ah, man... You know what? This really was my favorite film of 2019. I think I'd probably say The Irishman. I I, I won't say it's my favorite, but I think that's the one where like it had people talking. It just hit. And like, it it just, was one of those things where it's like you got it. If people, oh, did you see The Irishman yet? Yeah. Did you see The Irishman? Just like Avengers mm-hmm. Endgame. Yes, yeah. but we're and not it, gonna do because that had the hype around it. That yeah. had ten years of build. So yeah. it's not fair. It's not fair. It's different. That's why I, I took it out. Yeah. You know, The Irishman was good, and it was a entertaining movie. I wouldn't say it was it was amazing. But it was it was thorough, thoroughly thoroughly. You didn't enjoyable. ask what the most amazing movie was. You no, you said what your favorite, favorite was. Yeah, yeah no, so I'm just why why you? I didn't realize that I'm you ate such down a big dinner, picks. and now you had to fucking take a giant shit <laughs> on my pick. Uh, my favorite movie of 2019, aside from superhero films, because if it's not Endgame, it's Spider Man Far From Home. Yeah. Um. So I'm taking that out. Uh. I was gonna. I'm actually gonna go with Knives Out. I really thought it was excellent. It was so well done. Um, r- funny. I did not care a to good see good murder Knives mystery. Um, I st- I'm I still st- really not sure what it is. I still is. don't care. It was a murder Knives mystery. Out. Really good. One of the best reviews. Actually, one of the, surprisingly one of the best. I've heard movies great of the year. things. Chris Evans the board. was good. If you're not into murder movies, murder mystery movies, then maybe it's not up your alley. Mm-hmm. But I think it is a movie for everyone. Um, it's it like I said, it's fun, it's entertaining, and you're really kind of curious the whole movie, even though the they do reveal to you what happened uh, kind of halfway through. There's still more to the the puzzle, and it's just a really captivating film. So that would be my favorite movie from 2019 uh, that's non-superhero. Obviously, superhero-related is Aven- Avengers Endgame. Um, you know, a movie I just watched, it's not my favorite, but it's very, it's new. Like, it's just, it's recently, uh, two, the t- two Popes is good. Yes, you were, you were talking about it. It's about. long. It's a long two hours, but it's entertaining enough um, So if you have the time. What also came, so we had our best films of the year, and I think we can all talk about maybe our favorite television shows of 2019. Um, for me, personally, probably The Mandalorian. Even um, though I haven't finished it yet. Um, probably, I, I have one episode left. I think that's the best new show. Yeah, best year. new show. Um, would be the Mandalorian for me. I reoccurring like, Stranger Things. Was Stranger really Things good. is because it, again, yeah. but so, so it's there's a hype around that. Like mm-hmm. I waited two years for Stranger Things. I rewatched the entire series in preparation for Stranger Things. I was yeah. super excited about Stranger Things. You know, it should be the best television show of the year. Umbrella Academy. It should be Game of Thrones, but that mm-hmm. shit the bed. Which, so it's not even. It's, here's here's how you know. Did either of you even think of Game of Thrones when we were talking about television show? No, but no, I I was no. thinking about television show. I was thinking of Game of Thrones for uh, things that came to an end this year. Things that sucked, which were Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and Avengers Endgame. So a, a I'm looking at like a list of all the movie or all the shows, and there's actually a couple that I want to bring up. Hold on, TV shows. Chernobyl. Chernobyl is really was good. Very good. Chernobyl is very good. Really hard to watch at some points. Um, the second season of Mindhunter was pretty good. Mindhunter, I just looked at that as well. Sex <laughs> Education. Yep, I was just gonna say that good you watched show. that, right, RP? Yeah, Sex that Education is really good. Uh, the Witcher, I've started watching. They have not. My favorite show. I'm gonna say this right now, and I think that you will all agree. I think my favorite new show of 2019 is I think you should leave. That is a good show. Yep. Yeah, it's Tim Robinson. I think that's, that's, you should leave. Yeah. So, um, Barry, if you have not, Barry's one of my favorite shows. They had a season two. Yeah. We've made... I think you started season watching three. it. It was season three. I think season, we've made a yeah. hundred. I think you should leave references on this show without even just intentionally in, doing it. Easily. It's just, just how, we, last easily. how it goes. For 2019, my favorite new show, I think I actually have to say, is The Umbrella Academy. Because, Over Mandalorian? Yeah, because you're coming into Mandalorian, you know what's... You're getting Star Wars. Yeah. Umbrella Academy, you're like, what the fuck is this? A talking monkey, yeah. a gorilla man? I think I would take The Boys over Umbrella Academy, though. Oh, I agree with that. I think... That. I, yeah, that's a good point, Shane. The Boys, uh, we have... We talked about doing a podcast on The Boys. We never did. It was, it was still tight. I want to just because it gives me an excuse to rewatch. We I, Well, what happened was we, we all watched The Boys so quickly mm-hmm. 
that to do the podcast, like people would not have seen it when we wanted to do the podcast. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that's like what I what I said um, about Mandalorian. How I'm I'm glad that it came out once a week because I would have watched it all in two days. Oh, 100 percent. And forgotten all of it, which is what I did with the boys, which I need to rewatch. I know Jack Ryan is apparently very good. <clears throat> yeah, I keep hearing good stuff about Jack, Jack Ryan. Ryan. First season, I have like two episodes left. Really good. I haven't watched that. I might. So we have these these new things that we we like and we enjoy. Um, you're, there's tons of stuff we can go into, um, but I want to talk about a big thing which we talked about. We had our own separate podcast series for it. Was this was the end of two giant things this year: Star Wars and Shane's penis. Shane's penis. It's, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he finally got the money approved through the podcast. Hor- no, there was a horrible accident. Oh no! Did you get it stuck in the uh, in the frozen turkey again? I, it, it, it's a long story. You got stuck in the, it was, got stuck in the toaster. Thanksgiving the toaster was, was, was you know like the toaster just kind of gives you that look sometimes. Yeah. And you're like, all right, let's do like, that. Yeah, that yeah, that like hey the the, the bedroom eyes. Yeah, it was like it's like hey sailor, and I was like ooh okay. Um. My toaster strudels give me those eyes more so than my toaster. <laughs> so th- anyway, stick talk about things. I fill the toaster with my strudels. Sticking in, <laughs> sticking in things, sticking uh, the landing. Shane we, brought his own icing. We have Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Ending the Star Wars: the, the Skywalker Saga. Try to keep us on track, RP. And Go Game ahead. of Thrones. Um, Try your best. My favorite to an thing end. about this podcast is just derailing him. <laughs> uh, so it's, just, it's awkward eye contact between Shane and I trying to get him so off task, and it, it's just the look of of defeat, defeat in his face. Des- desperation. So two things came to an end this year. It was Game of Thrones and Star Wars. Yes. Uh, which, <laughs> the, well, the, the, the Skywalker saga. Skywalker saga. Because yeah. it's funny because we're going to be getting in 2020 uh, more Star Wars. And we are going to be getting more Game of Thrones. Are we guaranteed more in 2020? Do you know for sure? Oh, uh, we're definitely getting the Mandalorian season two. Oh, uh, yeah, more At Star Wars now. But I don't know if we're getting anything like new. I don't Star think we're Wars getting a wise. movie, another movie. And now. I don't know if Game of Thrones was getting released this year or not. The prequel, because they they bumped the one, now they're doing the other one. They did, but they did the pilot already, so I believe we will be getting. I think they it. scrapped the pilot. From what I understood, they didn't like the pilot, and they scrapped that well, entire they, series. Well, there's two. So the, they're doing the Targaryen series. There was the Targaryen season there was and the, something on the White Walkers, there, I think? It was the last men. Yeah. Or the first and men. They scrapped, they scrapped that scrapped one because they had men. Naomi Watts in it. And they scrapped yes. that. Which I That one sounded more interesting to me Let's than... Let's see what we can uh, find out. ...than the Targaryen one. Because I didn't give a shit. I've already met the Targaryens. Give me more about the last men. But apparently it sucked. Uh, House of Dragons is the only one that is currently... Yeah, because that's the one that got discussed. picked up. And you want to talk about not fucking sticking the landing? You should have heard what these people... I know it was their first time doing showrunners for the first season, but HBO really helped them make that. They sent, they gave HBO the pilot, and they were like, this is awful. Uh, this yeah. is what you're going to do. We're going to do this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. We see the potential. So they recast it. A lot of people, they rewrote... They said the first pilot was like the first the pilot was like forty minutes. There's very little information about this show. If you yeah. go on HBO's website, it literally just says what it's about, and it's about the Fire and Blood book based on that 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 George R. R. Martin just released instead of finishing that fucking series that he wrote because he doesn't know how you to know, end that it. other thing that he wrote. Um, the, yeah, Stephen King doesn't know how to end any of his books, but he still fucking ends them. Yeah. There's bad endings. So Go ahead, just the, do that. The podcast I was listening to, and then was... it says what to watch while you wait. <laughs> They uh That's his fun. his dark materials I heard is really good. Watchmen I'm like halfway through it's not it's it's good. Westworld's it's back in 2020. I I haven't watched Watchmen in a while. I think I'm just I need to start over. I waited game. I waited until they were all done so I could binge yeah, it. So I like, literally started it last Tuesday. Maybe. See I started when the very first one came out and I watched three and then it's like really confusing and I I was lost. So I'm like you know what I'm just gonna let them all you've come out. You've read the books. Right? You've read the book right. No, but I, I you saw the first I've movie. You the saw movie. the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that a couple. Then times. you'd get it. I'm a big fan of the give movie. Give it, give it a couple more episodes. It, it I know. I'm gonna tie everything together. It has has the season ended yet? Yeah. So I waited until it was done. I'm on episode so, six, I think. Now I'll, I'll have do it that done, then. Like, I'm in gonna, the next week. I'm gonna start over from the beginning. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it all because there's so much going on. I'd say was, around episode four or five, you start to realize the 
Watchmen implications. Because the first couple episodes, you're like, what the fuck's the connection here? Aside from names and a Rorschach mask. Yeah. And Adrian Veidt is Adrian Veidt. Mm -hmm. But then it starts to kind of tie together a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, start it over at the beginning again. So, um, did we have Westworld in 2019, or has it been a year since the season was we out? Haven't we, had, had we haven't had it since 2018. Was it, okay, oh, was it fall so. of 2018? Because it was Game of Thrones, <clears throat> that, Game of Thrones, that. Yeah. I so. just remember being incredibly confused at some point recently. <laughs> yep. So I knew that there must have been um, Westworld out there somewhere. So get back to Game of Thrones. So as we had the whole entire series on it, it fell short. It was kind of, it was did sad. Did we do like eight sweet. episodes of this already? We did. So I don't want to spend that much <laughs> time on it. Chris back in here. But we do have to talk a lot about, we, we just mentioned it, the 2019 was a big year for two big things yeah. ending. And, uh, yes. which we did, we covered that on a Game of Thrones episode. Well, technically, and we have a Star if, Wars if you want to say, it's three, it's three big things because, um, the, uh, Avengers. MCU saga kind of came to an end a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, we're, and that's what we're getting more, of, that's what I meant, we're getting yes. more of that in 2019. Surprisingly yeah. enough, this podcast did not end in 2019. No. It's so. still going, like, no one's listening, but no, we're still putting still episodes out there. We are coming yeah. up on a year, which we're having this big blowout extravaganza. You know, you and know, we rented a hall. You know when There's a year a wacky is. inflatable tomb man. You know when a year actually is? It's coming it up. It would be next Saturday would be the year. Was it the weekend of your birthday? It was because it was the Friday of my birthday. We did this. And uh, it was the Friday because that was when uh, a certain someone sent me a very funny text. Oh, yeah. You are bullshit. This is bullshit. Yes. Wow. Only the real fans will know that. Yes. Well, that's a deep, that's a that's deep, a deep, deep dig. Holy and shit. I believe uh, uh, and, uh, then that Patrice was not born at that point, right? Patrice, I think, was born on the first show. We had better locks back then, so I think she, she stayed out. <laughs> Uh -oh. Our budget has gone way down. Get the fuck out of here. Hello, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> I feel like Patrice gets. Patrice, what do you celebrate? Christmas, I made a very. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I celebrate Three every holiday. It's fine. Chinese New Year? No. But, <laughs> but then it's, it's also like like Coach Steve from Big Mouth, I feel like, is what ah, you're doing. doing. Ah, no big deal. Ah, this is banter we're doing here. Uh, um, I just wanted to come in and say my favorite thing of 2019 was that this podcast was created. What was your favorite movie in 2019? Ah, that fucking, actually came out in 2018. Fucking Bird Box. <laughs> Patrice, get the fuck out God, of here. I hate this so much. I just uh, loved it. I can't wait for the sequel, I Bird Box, I heard, Electric are they really, Boogaloo. Are they really making a sequel? Because don't. This is not Patrice. You fucking leave. RP, get her the fuck out. Is get out of here? <laughs> RP came. So that happened. Uh, is are they really making a bird box sequel? Because one of the somebody yeah, was it's called me that. bird boxes. <laughs> it's called the bird still in the box. <laughs> yeah, like how do bird you make box a part two? Unless it's not related. I said if, unless it's like a the purge where it's just completely unrelated to the first. It's just the same concept, but all somebody else dealing with it. Yeah. Like what's the what's, um, why I make a sequel? Who Maybe cares? they could tell a different story of what's going on. It's and Bird Box, just... but it's five years in the past. So like it's just her having like a boring life. All you and, have like, to do, happens. all you have to do is just tell it from another uh, person yeah. alive at that point. That's fine. I have to bring Sandy B back. All right. Um, so we have our favorites. What's something that we absolutely despised from besides the Game of Thrones ending in 2019? One of the things that I can say, without even really having done anything with it, is X Men Dark Phoenix. I oh yeah, I ref it. I refuse to watch it. Didn't even see it. I refuse. Won't see it, Won't see it either. No reason to. <clears throat> it's Last Stand again. It's the same fucking movie. Yep. It's I not refuse to right. watch it. I'm trying to think of TV shows that I did not like. After the whole apocalypse debacle, how I was so excited to see it coming off of Days of Future Past, and then they just yeah. took a shit. That movie wasn't good. Uh, right on the movie, like I. I I refuse awful, to watch man. anything else until they until they recast and reboot it. Oh. Like they they rushed that once again. They rushed that. One of the things that I uh, TV shows that disappointed me was um, the Orlando Bloom carrot. I didn't watch it. Uh, uh, the Carnival or whatever. It was Carnival Row. Amazon Amazon Prime. Right. I watched the first episode and a half and was extremely yeah, bored. Didn't didn't even was, get into that. I was very intrigued by the concept. Did not mm. execute well. Let me think. We shit the bed in 2019. Game I didn't like the Paul Rudd Netflix show. Oh, you didn't like that? Nah, I wasn't. It was uh, Living With Yourself or whatever it's called. I wasn't a fan. I thought that 
I think Paul Rudd, I expected more comedy, and it was very... More serious? Very... I mean, he's a Shakespearean actor, though, weirdly. Well, he's um, no Kenneth Branagh. No, he's not. But yes, they didn't, didn't know how I feel about that. You know what is a, is a deep, uh, big fan of in 2019, if you haven't watched it on Disney+, Plus, the Imagineering story. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what we're going to say is probably the highlight of my life of 2019. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is, that I, for, um, for six weeks... On Fridays, Disney Plus. I watched that before I watched. Actually, I watched The Mandalorian first because I knew that would get spoiled first. Yeah, and then I would sit around and be like, "All right, I'm going to watch The Mandalorian." So, mentioning this now. Disney Plus in itself was just fucking highlight. I'm I'm a real big fan of Black Mirror, and the newest system, the newest the season, season kind of wasn't sucked. good. That kind of never sucked. watched Black Mirror. Um, there's a lot of depressing things in my life uh, to Flash. begin with, so I kind of I try to avoid. A uh, big letdown of 2019. Not really a huge letdown, but just kind of a consistent. The Flash letdown. is that what you said? This is the Flash? Was yeah. the crossover bad? I didn't. I didn't, wa- I didn't watch uh, it. That's still like that's behind. still like a thing. Yeah, people yeah. still watch that show. It's crazy. I, we still watch me. It's something me and my dad do together. It's been like two seasons since I, I watched that. I think. could care less. Supergirl. I'm very glad I stopped watching. Arrow's actually been good. It's in the last season. Uh, so shout out to uh, Arrow. If you haven't been watching it, go check it out. It's pretty good. Live action Disney movies. No, oh, Lion did King not, did like not that. did not hit home. Dumbo was garbage. Yeah. Did not like Aladdin either. Dude, Dumbo sucked. Yeah, I, thought you, I thought Aladdin was all right. It I was didn't see fine. Aladdin. It was fine, but I mean, I, um, it, it, I watched I watched Dumbo with Maureen. We got like halfway through. Colin Farrell couldn't act his way out of a paper bag. I think. I love uh, Jerry Seaman's phone booth. No, in in, in this in booth. this movie, I'm saying okay. The kids that they cast in the movie are terrible. They suck. <clears throat> I don't recommend it. Don't see it. Even, like, Danny DeVito is the only good part about the movie, and, like, he wasn't even that great. Really? Speaking of Danny DeVito, big letdown. Not a big letdown, but definitely a letdown is Jumanji the next level. Is it? Did you see it? Yeah, uh, uh, Audrey and her family. Oh, okay. I mean, we were going to go see it, but that's not a big deal. I know. Um, He probably saw Hobbs and Shaw without you, too. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, he did. What a piece of shit. Interesting. I did. I watched it, like, two weeks ago. I got it for my birthday. Oh, well. Fucking Judas. uh, Fucking Judas. Yeah, that's... I I don't know when the studio Yo, got Bob, um, dusty. But, Bob, uh, turn um, turn around real quick so I can get the knife out of your back. <laughs> <laughs> and then just hit me, and then just stab me in the neck, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put me out of my misery. I'm done. This is the uh, first right. episode of 2020 and the last. Can we can we go on to 2020? Did um, I already mention that The Witcher is really good and we should watch The Witcher? You did. Yeah. Okay. So we, anyway, Jumanji was good, but not as good as I expected. Can we go on the 2020 before movies? Before we do that, I have like a whole really, list of shit that I really want to talk about. Before we do 2020, because really I know it's going to take a while. Is there anything? Because I have one, and I'm going to hmm. say it. Do you guys know? You know those shows that you just kind of watch, and you keep watching because you already started watching them? That was the flash for me until I gave it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's lost in space for me. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what to do with it. Because I don't, I, I'm not going to say that I'm super interested in it. But I put it on, and I'm like, okay, I can watch this for a half hour. And then when it's over, I'm like, no, nah, I could have lived without that. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep – I'm going to finish this season. Castle Rock is kind of the same way. Yeah. Like, I don't know that I care, I used but to... I'm like – I feel invested. I've already put the time into it. Yeah, before I stopped watching The Flash, I used to put it on and then just, like, be on my phone and, like, not <laughs> even pay attention to it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, when I watch with my dad, I don't really pay attention to it. It's the last honestly, couple episodes have been pretty good. Same way your dad doesn't okay. pay attention to you. Never has. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's you like, don't pay they're, attention to my needs. They're place. watching The Flash and all people are like, whoa, how about that? And he's I was like, what the yeah. fuck? You're here? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> all right. Um, 2020. So let's let's jump into 2020. All right. There's a lot of big things coming. There's, there's, yeah, there's big right, things. a lot more than I... Than doing I, movies, TV right. shows first. So let's do a quick rundown of the big stuff coming movies in 2020. All right. Well, first off... So 2019, overall, a really good year for movies. Yeah. I really think that uh, Avengers Endgame is a lot we didn't mention, it. but there were a lot. There are really a lot we didn't mention, like Frozen Two, um, Hobbs Captain and Marvel. Shaw, Captain Marvel, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which no, that was bad. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm just I don't saying, care what you say. That movie is not good. I'm just talking about movies we didn't mention. That's one of them we didn't. That, mention. that might have been my least favorite movie of the year. <laughs> you want to hop back into it then? Do you want to talk about how bad it is? No, I don't want to give it the fucking time of day. It okay. was that bad. I fucking uh, don't like that movie. Mo- all right. Here, what about one other movie? Uh, this might fall under this. Movies that, for 2019, that you thought were going to be good and weren't that as one. good. Yeah. Fucking that one. I figured that would be for you. <laughs> movie that I, I thought it was going to be a lot better, but I enjoyed it, uh, was Yesterday. 
the one about the the guy who yeah, I didn't see everybody that. forgets yeah. about the Beatles songs. Yeah. Enjoyable, it's fun, but I expected a lot more out of it, and I was I was disappointed. Um, Toy Story Four was good. Still have not seen it. Yeah. Disney Plus. It was fine. It could have been, been, could've been better. It was fine. It was yeah. fine. It was it was good. It's heartwarming. Makes you, it they get you into emotions like every Pixar movie Pixar does. Did well, it right? wasn't necessarily well needed. Yeah, like, well, they, Pixar they so just, far they didn't have one movie. They could have just left Frozen it at three. Not Pixar. No, it's a Disney animation. Oh, all but right. so well, Disney as a whole. Sorry, they just look the fucking same to me. So Disney Disney as a whole is the first film for like eight or nine movies of theirs to make a billion dollars. Well, Pixar's got um, what's that? Onward coming out. Yeah, that, that looks, looks pretty that good. Looks pretty good. Looks good. Chris Pat, Tom Holland. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that's the like. Highlight of the highlight Wizard of the year. Lord, medieval Whatever. type shit. Again, as always, we always talk about Tom Holland uh, breakout 2019. As always, End Game for the very you can't brief break out. Very broke out. Well, like highlight. I put sorry highlight. Um, you just wish he broke out of his shirt. Uh, always. Uh, great in Homecoming. That he's got some other shit. Breakout. Like, breakout star of 2019. Um, Harrison Ford. I'm glad he finally he's finally, finally getting recognition. Finally hit, crashing through that glass ceiling. All right, now we're jumping back into 2020. No, because here's now you have to say the guy who didn't break out and he should have. Um, sexy and have a long bottom. Where's he been? I don't know. Right, just enjoying besides my, anywhere since besides our last podcast. Dreams. Just enjoying life. I think yeah, just enjoying he's probably life. somewhere doing crunches. Um, speaking of Harry Potter, I heard Emma Watson's new film Little Women is very good. Uh, based, on book by, based on a uh, book by Dr. Seuss. That's not the real author. No, it's <laughs> it's J.K. Rowling. Um, I heard Dr. Sleep was pretty good. We I did hear Dr. It. Sleep was good. Um, Kni- Knives Out, you mentioned. Joker. There's a lot, there's a lot of things that came out. 2019 hey, was guys, a good year for you, movies. Here's the thing, and I'm going to tell you this as our f- loyal listeners. If you go to the movies on any given day, I'm willing to bet there's probably like at least ten movies showing, and probably one of them's pretty good. <laughs> probably. So hey, give it a shot. See what happens. Uh, Rocket Man was really good too. There's a lot of things that came out this week technically, but they aren't released in major theaters till yeah. January 10th. Like jo- I wanted to see Jojo Rabbit. I didn't Jojo get a chance Rabbit. to see Jojo Rabbit. I don't think that. I feel like would have been really good. 1917 is technically already released. Yeah, but it's I want to. I want to see that. That looks. That looks really good. And then cats. Cats. Well, uh, well, movie, gotta love cats. Well, I, I'm, I think um, Oscar winner for best director, best best everything. You know, cats. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's gonna outdo Highlander. What about the was there was there something ever. that surprised you? For me, I'm um, Academy. For me, that surprised me that I actually thought it, it was actually pretty good. Was Hustlers? Hustlers was. You saw Hustlers? I did. Yeah. Uh, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I, was I heard surprised. it was like it's it's award yeah, nominated, like, right? There's really good. There's there's a lot of talk that J Lo's going to get nominated. Well, she deserves it. She does her. deserve it. Uh, there's there's talk of talk about Academy Awards for this year. Um, hey, you want to look what the nominees are real fast? They are pushing for that. There's not. There shouldn't be any yet. But I'm saying like the Golden Globes, Globes like nominees. Um, they're pushing for Iron Man or Tony uh, Robert Downey Jr. to win an Academy Award. I got to be honest. To me, he was not. I mean, he had the biggest emotional scene in that movie, but I feel like Cap did the better acting. Mm. All right, you ready? You want to see? Just a little. What they tell want. me I'm wrong. Fuck it. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, you're wrong. No, I, I doesn't. I don't think. Honestly, I don't think any of those guys should win any awards. I think if any of them should, I feel like Chris Evans. I feel but like I'm saying, I just think, I don't think the, the acting in those movies is what makes those movies. Well, no, I thought Chris Hemsworth gave a more moving... Yeah, he was awesome too. Yeah. To me, it's just yeah. Robert yeah, He was fat and he was, it was sad. Like, it's like one of those transformation things, you know, like when uh, <laughs> Christian Bale lost all the weight. Exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, that was all fake. It's all fake. I know. My I, thing... I, I understand. Oh. Hey... It's that bit that I do oh. where I'm not serious whatsoever. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Jesus, I uh, wish Patrice is back. But just real quick with the Robert Downey Jr. I absolutely love him in that movie. He's he's great. But when I think of that movie, I don't think of his acting. I'm not like he – the scene where he That's why I don't think any of them should be nominated because yeah. you There's, don't think of the acting in those movies. No. You think of the crazy shit that happens. But like mm-hmm. Evans made me tear up a lot in that movie. Uh, he was really good. All right. So uh, that's our 20- – uh, Let's look at some – 
nominated nominees. Okay, we'll look at our. This is our end of our 2019 in review. Is right here. 1970 best picture drama Golden Globes 1917 The Irishman Joker Marriage Story Two Popes. Marriage Story got that. Marriage. Oh, how story. about that? Did you see it? Is it any good? Uh, no, but I had somebody who I, watched it. I heard it's bad. I like. I heard it's not great. Let's put it that way. It's bullshit. Cats is so in that, Actually, you know well, what? That's surprised? drama. It's drama. Oh, it's drama. I was gonna say. So, so the I, Joker's if I had to guess, the Irishman's gonna win that probably. So the thing with the Academy, with the Golden Globes, is they have so many different categories. But yeah. So games. here's here's your musical or comedy. Dolomite is my name. Jojo Rabbit, Knives Out, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, fucking bullshit, and Rocket Man. <laughs> Rocket Man, very good. Knives so Out, Knives out Rocket Man. Jojo Rabbit looked incredible. I don't know if I'm curious to see if see Dives it. Out will get an Academy Award for Best Picture. Uh, and then you got like Best Performances. It's, it's all the same people. Christian Bale's nominated for Ford, Ford vs. Ferrari. Ferrari. Joaquin Phoenix. Charlie Theron for Bombshell. That's not out yet, right? I think that might just have been one out. of those Christmas releases that's out. not really released yet. It's like it'll be released. So that's yeah. It's just it's people trying to like make the cut here. There, J Lo. Hustler, supporting actress. What a crew of hotties here. Laura Dern, Marriage Story. J-Lo for Hustlers. Margot Robbie, Bombshell. Kathy Bates, Richard Jewell. Which I did want to see. I did want to see Richard Jewell. And then Annette Benning for The Report. That's a, I think that's an Amazon show. Tom Hanks, nominated, better win. So that's the Golden Globes. We'll probably see something very similar for... The Academy Awards with Frozen probably winning. Frozen Best got animated. Do you put animated as their own? So it's Frozen two, How to Train Your Dragon, Lion King, Missing Link. So do you include? Yeah, because yeah, I mean the, the Lion King. The Lion King will not win. That'll win Best Visual Effects. It shouldn't win the movie. No. No, it should. Frozen two, I haven't seen, but I'm guessing. Heard How to Train Your Dragon was good. Uh, well. here Best Original Song though, Cats is nominated for by Taylor Swift. Yes, yeah, Beautiful Ghost, Andrew Lloyd yeah. Webber, and Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's a brand new song. Brand new, brand spanking new. All right, so we're gonna jump into 2020. 2020. What do you What do you want to see? Ooh, real fast. Nine, 2019. Catch 22. Very good show. Okay. On Amazon Prime. Nice. All right, so 2020, Shane. What are a couple of things you want to talk about? List. Um, we got Top Gun Maverick, which looks starring Miles Teller. Really fucking good. <sighs> Wonder Woman two. You it's got, not what um, it's called. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> The uh the new James Bond I think looks really good. Yes. I'm, I'm real glad that Christoph Waltz is back. No time yeah. to die. No time to die. I'm a big fan of him. Tenet, the uh Christopher Nolan movie. So which I'm still not sure what it's about, but the trailer is really interesting. So if I saw Star Star Wars Rise of Skywalker in IMAX, did I tell you the story already? No. Nah. So I think because I saw it in IMAX, they show like a prequel scene, like a full scene, not a trailer, like mm-hmm. a full scene from the Tenet. Pre- Oh, from Tenet. Oh, yeah, yeah, the IMAX special. Yeah, it's like an IMAX special. And so, gotta say, watched probably ten minutes of the movie in this scene. More confused than I was before. Can't wait to see it. Looking looking super forward to it. No fucking idea what's gonna happen. Um, The Kingsman, which looks like... That's like the prequel, right? The prequel to The Kingsman, which I'm excited about. New Mutants... Um, which now has the approval of Marvel, so they're probably going to get a bunch of reshoots. Um, Bill and Ted face the Bill music. Bill and Ted, that's what I was just going to say, which I forgot that that was a thing, and I'm real excited about that. You have... John Wick 4, is that this year, or is that I next year? I don't think it's this year. Alright, so, these are things, or I'm just going to start listing things that are coming out. Birds of Prey is coming out in 2000. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I know, I know. <clears throat> Stop with this. <laughs> the Ghostbusters, uh, but like the Ghostbusters, whatever it is. But it's it's. I just looked it up. It's the original cast. I know it is. And um, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. Okay, he's in everything. Yeah, he, he's 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 the breakout star of 2019. I'll give it to him. Uh, Mulan. Mm. Not happy that Mushu isn't in it. Cause, yeah, because yeah, because Mushu like was. So here it is. Mushu wasn't realistic enough, so they took an old Asian lady that can turn into a falcon. Because that's believable. <laughs> I, I it does not look good to me. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in it at all. I don't think I don't even want to see it. Bad Boys for Life. That actually, I haven't seen that one I or two. Yeah, I haven't seen one or two, but it does. You've look never good. seen a Bad Boys movie? No, what? but that one looks really good. You're yeah. a disgrace. What? Yep. yep. 
Not even Bad Boys Two. Like that's the that's the best oh, one. Oh, you Bad know Boys what? Two is good. You know what? Yeah, I did see that. No, he did, and he's lying. What a piece of shit. Bad oh, Boys no. Two, the favorite. My favorite part, part is when they go, "Yeah, we're we're bad boys. What you gonna do?" Oh, and and maybe he has seen it. He's not that old. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say maybe he has seen it. They bad Boys say, Two. They say Bad Boys for Life, and then the Bad Boys song starts playing. Yeah. So you're not that old. Bad Boys Two, the one scene. And they go, we're gonna uh, kill some people. The guys Chicka like, chain. look at this. I got because they like, there's like, they shoot the whole place up. He's like, look at this. I got guys over there recovering stuff. I got detectives over there detecting shit, and I don't know why that makes me laugh every <laughs> time. Uh, Sonic. Sonic with the new update looks yeah, be- because uh, people on Twitter bullied them into it, and yeah. we can say thank you Twitter for once. Let's keep bullying. <laughs> uh, Onward, Onward, we talked about yeah, Quiet Place Two. Didn't see the first one. Quiet Place was good. Quiet Place is really good. Too. Black Widow. Yes, on board. I was not on board for that movie. Like I was, on, obviously, I was on board. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, now, I saw the trailer. I'm fully in. Obviously, it's a Marvel product. Um, so yeah. That's a, that. What else we get? What's this the other one? This is Fast and Furious Nine. Didn't yep. they already put the ninth one out? No, they did Hobbs and Shaw last year. And what was the other one called? Fate. Fate of the Fate Furious. Of the which I, was we that liked. A play on and the they, eight. But yes. they didn't spell. Did they spell it F and then eight? No, no. 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 That's, that's, that's why I didn't say that's, that's why I'm saying. So uh, Fast and Furious Nine comes what out. What were you in asking? April? What's the other one? Hobbs and Shaw, which was fine. Fast and Furious Nine comes out May twenty second. This Ryan Reynolds movie. It's already on Netflix. It is. Wait, what is it? Free guy. Oh, I don't know what like, that is. He, yeah, he's think, the he's the free like, guy. He's the avatar. Yeah. And they uh not the blue people the uh 2020 he's is like, the year of a, avatar he's though. Like in a in a video game. Oh, we get an avatar movie this year. In December that nobody's oh, gonna man, see. Can't wait to not but James watch it. Cameron is insistent that it's going to they're gonna re-release Avatar and it's gonna break the Avengers Endgame box office record. I hope that James Cameron uh stubs his toe. Yeah, me too. I'm not going to wish anything bad on the guy. But. You know what? Now that we're talking about it, it is time for our last Crumb Bum of the Week of 2019. Of the year. I want to fight you. Why is that? Because you're a crumb creep, lush coward. You don't even know me, Mayor. You are a lush. I can tell by looking at you. Crumb of the year. Of the, so it's Crumb of the Week so this is Crumb a, of the Year? So this nah, is uh, Monday, can December. Can we do a Crumb Bum of the Year? Yeah, it's, it's fucking James Cameron. It's fine. Uh, so James Cameron and Miles Teller together. So I'm coming home. Did from, they ever make a movie together? Mm, That's the crumb bum of the week. <laughs> that, that movie. All right. So the actual the crumb bum of the week. So I'm coming home from work, um, day before Christmas Eve. Great mood. Everything's good. I'm uh, coming home on the turnpike. I'm in the left lane, which is the fast lane. Uh, nice. I hit the brake. Maybe a little bit harder than I should have, because the car in front of me hit the brake, so I reacted. There's this piece of shit truck behind me, swerves into the middle lane, because it's speeding, fine, whatever, get mad at me. I totally understand. So he gives me the finger, I just look at him, don't react at all. Next thing you know, fucking quarters are flying out, hitting my car window. At least little, change. At first, where I think that it's a crack here, it ends up just, I don't find this out until later, being a mark. The next thing you know, we're going up, they end up throwing something at the right side of my car, and they speed along. So I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. I still don't react. I don't say anything. Three or four miles go by. I'm getting off the exit. Next thing you know, the left side, the pass, they come up on the same exit that I'm getting at. And they throw a fucking jelly donut at the <laughs> left side, driver's side of my car. What a waste of a pastry. Long story short, nothing else happened from that point on. I did call the state troopers because I was like, this Wait, guy's Wait, can I ask you a but, question, though? Yeah. What's the bigger offense, throwing away money or throwing away a nice a nice jelly pastry. donut? A nice pastry, and that's uh, why he is the crumb bum of the week. Some people hate jelly donuts. I say throwing away the money because money could be anything. Look, money could buy you a jelly look, donut. Look, I am not a well, nicer How much money? Jelly. It could be two jelly donuts. How I based on the away? impact on your car, could you tell me where the jelly donut was from? Yeah, it's from Holmesburg. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> From Holmesburg. Then we throws away a Holmesburg jelly donut. I had one of those last week. It was delicious. It's delicious. Like, I'm not a fan of jelly donuts, but I can appreciate the pastry for what it is. I'm, 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 it's, it's a very divisive donut. People yeah. either hate jelly donuts or they love jelly donuts. I, uh, I disagree. I can, I can take them or leave them. It's whatever. But, 
Well, all right. Like, if that's the only donut in the box, I'm like, all right, yeah, sure, jelly donut. Yeah, but there's people like, ooh, it's a fucking jelly donut. It's gross. But if there's like... I've never said, unless it's like an old-fashioned, I've never been like, oh, that's a donut that's gross. No, yeah. I'm going to eat any donut you offer me. Exactly. Unless it's the one that tastes like bread. And I'm like, I'll just eat this loaf of bread instead. Like, old-fashioned tastes like nothing. You're supposed to dip it in your coffee. So I was really upset about this waste of a donut. So I called the, the state trooper and I said... Look, man, this guy's out here throwing donuts. He said there's been... <laughs> <laughs> I know that that's not the way the conversation went, but I really want to, like, I, I wish it had been, like, listen, dude, I know you, there's nothing you can really do about this, but there's guys out here, and they're just throwing donuts around like like it's nobody's business. These goddamn savages. I, at first, I was pissed because I thought that... He, at first, what happened, I was like, this guy threw quarter and made a crack in my windshield... But then he had the audacity to throw a jelly donut and audacity. completely waste a jelly donut. And that's why this man is the crumb of the week, and he is now has a warrant for his arrest because he's now known as the jelly donut bandit. <laughs> yeah, he's out there. Uh, you listen. know how many people complained about jelly donuts in their car? 6,000 people. 6,000 a year. A month. What is this man's budget <laughs> for jelly donuts? Apparently it doesn't matter because he's throwing money out the here's window. The, here's the <laughs> Here's the crazy thing that we didn't think about, right? He actually owns a bakery. <laughs> it's just free advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're leftover from the day before. He wasn't he's he's throwing it out. He's like, no. get them on third. He wasn't, yeah, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't mad. He wasn't even mad at RP. He, was tra- he saw a, a strapping young man driving on the turnpike a little recklessly. And he said, that's the kind of customer I need. Hey, here's the amount of money you'll need, and here's the product you can buy. <laughs> He's like, don't drive like an asshole, you piece of dog shit. In my defense, I did not drive like an asshole, though. I just hit the brakes a little bit harder than I maybe should have. You guys got caught up in some things. Uh, you were following too closely. You hit the brakes. The guy swerved. <laughs> <laughs> he threw a jelly donut at you. And now my stomach is totally deal. fucked. So that's our crumb bone of the week. Because who wastes a fucking pastry? So now a quick, a, one more quick jump into 2020. What are we looking forward to most, Shane? What do you, what's your highlight? What's your one thing? If you pick one fucking movie. One movie? What is it? Probably Bad Boys. Bad Boys for life? Yeah, it's been, it's been a while since... I don't even, when, did, when did Bad Boys 2 come out? Early 2000s? Like 2008, maybe? 04. 04 we got Bad over Boys here? 2, 03. I'm guessing 04. So, 03? Yeah. Nah, so, close. yeah, Bad Boys. I mean, I'm, from the trailer, it looks Bad good. Bad Boys I'm 3. Of, it of, flop. of everything that's coming out in 2020, that's the most... That you're looking forward what to. Else is, what else is really coming out? I mean, Black Widow. Well, yeah, obviously. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I thought we were we're excluding the obvious shit. Like, obviously, I'm gonna say all the superhero stuff. Ghostbusters. Paul Rudd's in Ghostbusters, by the way. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I just saw that. See, but with Ghostbusters two kind of sucked, and with the last Ghostbusters that came out, I don't have a lot of hopes. I mean, I'm also I'm obviously gonna. Well, see I think it. Top Gun is more so than Bad Boys for me, and I hate those motherfuckers. I hate Tom Cruise. I hate Miles Teller. I hate James Cameron. He has nothing to do with that movie, but I do fucking hate him. <laughs> so, I just looked this up. There's a movie coming out called The Gentleman, and it stars... Ooh, yeah, that looks really good. It stars Charlie too. Hunnell, Matthew McConaughey, yeah. uh, Hugh Grant, Colin Farrell, Michelle Dockery. I'm actually... Um, that, that piques my interest, but I'm going to run through 2020 as movie that I'm most excited for, movie that I, I think looks good, but it's going to be awful, and then uh, really uh, hopeful for it. And I'm gonna start with um, movie that I'm hopeful for, The Jungle Cruise. I watched yes, all the trailer the end for it. Of the end of the year. Yeah. It's not coming out to like next November, but oh yes. really? It's that far yeah, off. I think it. Yeah, it's. I am. Like uh, I looked at a bunch of them the other day. Pretty it's like, hopeful. For it's that. like next holiday season, but I think that it'll I'm, be good. I'm really hopeful for, for New Mutants. Yeah. Because it's it's cool because it's kind of like a like a like a superhero horror movie. Yeah. And I was real excited when I saw the first trailer, and then it kind of got shit canned a little bit. Yeah, because of all the, the Fox, Disney. Yeah. Act. Um, yeah, when you saw the first trailer, you're like, oh, cool, it's an X-Men movie. And they're like, wait, this isn't an X-Men movie. And you're like, oh, wait, no, nah, yeah, it's an X-Men movie. <laughs> so, Bob, what are you – so that's your, your what you're hopeful for that actually yeah. comes out in 2020? No, that, that it's – I hope it's just good. Okay, well, so I'm, you're I'm hopeful. hopeful. We're doing hopeful. So hopeful and for I'm him hoping, is Jungle Cruise. And mm-hmm. I hope it comes out in 2020 because it keeps getting pushed back. But yeah. it's set. Bob, what about you? Hopeful for 2020. Um – uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I hope Mulan's good. I love Mulan. I really yeah. want Mulan to be good. If it's not going to be good, probably not. 
So I don't really know what to do with that. All right. So the next one is movie that. You, you know, can I do? I'm, I hope that I understand anything that's happening in Tenet. <laughs> All right, fair that. But that's every, isn't that every uh, fucking t- uh, so, Nolan movie? No, because they're not that big. Ba- somebody said that to me the other day. I understand yeah, Inception. I, it's a little bit like you can't be on your phone and watch Inception. No, Inception's the only one that I haven't really revisited. But every other one of the movies. Memento, I understand. Like even Interstellar, which is a I haven't seen it in it's, Interstellar. It's a good movie. So it's too I'm just now seeing that there is going to be a Morbius movie. There's mm-hmm. a Morbius movie. But Jared yeah, Jared Leto playing him. Yeah. Which yes, I'm not yeah. too happy about. So he's going to blow it. So it's probably going to suck? I don't know. What's Jared Leto sucked in before? He's been good in everything I've seen. He's never played the Joker, so. Yeah. No, uh, Dallas Buyers Club, he's excellent. Yeah. Uh, American Psycho, he's good. Yeah. I think he'll pull it off. All right, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he just doesn't do something stupid. Thank God he, ne- so thank the, God he never played the Joker, because so then we'd have that to yeah, that'd, be, that'd just be awful. So the Morbius movie, not starring Jared Leto, we're all excited for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, movie that I am hopeful, like that I'm looking forward to, but I know... It's probably going to be bad. Is Doolittle? I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, oh, it's that's gonna what be so I wanted to bad. say next. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so dumb. It, it, it's just it's do it's downy being downy <clears> being <throat> weird. So I'm I'm hopeful it's good, uh, but I don't think it will be. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to ask you about that. What about you, Shane? Is that a new mutants? New, no, no. What you think is going to be like you hope you think it's, it's actually going to suck, but it's it's you know it's going to oh, suck. Oh, uh, probably Bill and Ted. Oh, that was mine. Yeah, it's absolutely. I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna <laughs> love the idea of it, and I'm gonna hate watching it. I'm gonna go into it so happy that it's a Bill and Ted, and I'm like, oh, this is awful. And then there's Avatar, which I don't mm. even hope is good, but I which I think suck. I think it's. Uh, you know what also looks really bad? Um, Call of the Wild, the new uh, Harrison Ford movie with the dog. No idea what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, you lost. No, it. Avatar comes out in 2021. My bad. Ah, you get me again, James Cameron. You no s- Avatar for a whole year. What am I gonna do with myself? <laughs> Godzilla vs. King Kong comes out, which I know is probably gonna be bad. That's a big one that I'd like to be good, but it's gonna suck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the movie that I'm absolutely looking forward to the most at this point is definitely uh, Black Widow. Without a doubt, it's Black Widow. Black Widow. 1917. I really want to see. Yeah. Let's. Well, yeah. That's yeah. technically out, but only in select theaters. Shane, what do you think for the movie you're most look- anticipated for? Is that still New Mutants? No, I'm most looking forward to it's, it's either bad it's either Bad Boys or um, Top Gun. Oh, you did say Top Gun is my yeah. Top Gun's my backup. And the No Time to Die, I hope is good. The new James Bond film. I don't uh, see James which, Bond movies in theaters though. Which I saw Spectre in theaters. Spectre, I which, think, would have been an all right one to see I didn't in care theaters. For it. But Skyfall like, was excellent. Skyfall is very good. Uh, Which we did just long movie yeah. we did not mention that should have absolutely been mentioned that we're looking forward to, Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, but it like falls through the cracks because they fucking suck so, yeah. so much. That was supposed to come so out in November. That's one of those things where like in May back. I'm gonna be like, ah shit, Wonder Woman comes out next week. Dude, I'm excited for it. Wolfhard is in another movie coming out next year. Finn Wolfhard's oh, killing it, dude. The Turning. It looks like it might be a horror movie. Ooh, I'm I'm scared already. Have you ever read um? The Turn of the Screw. It's like a novella. No. no. Apparently it's based off of that. I'll turn your screw, buddy. Yeah. Well, I don't know if being a Mexican wrestler, I thought maybe you would know. No, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of downtime. I do do a lot of reading. I said do-do. But uh, I just have never read The Turn of the Screw. I've read, read, read Taming of the Shoe. Shrew. 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 <laughs> Clearly you have. I, I meant to say yes. shrew. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what else have I read? I've read... Uh, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Name, name, name first all the books that you've read. Yes. Yeah. So Close. to close out this podcast, I'm just going to name every book that I've ever read. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm going to step away for a while, yeah. and we're just going to let it go. Yeah, I'll, I'll name books that I haven't read, and one is called The Winds of Winter, and it's written by George R. R. Martin. Ha, 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 ha. release it. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, so would we rank 2019 better than 2018? Would you think it's better? Would you think it was a pretty solid year film? Dude, that's a difficult question. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I don't fucking. Would you do. think that 2019 is better than 1984 uh, films? Yes, films? I think they. I think they really. 1933 is like the eight golden age of movies. What do you yeah, think about that? Yeah. I think in the 20... 2019 is better than um 1819 <laughs> <laughs> and 1920 19, as well. Yeah. They definitely had a lot more movies. Yeah. In the 36 years since 1984 or 35 years or whatever, I think I. I I feel like the digital effects have increased. <laughs> I w- I don't, I'm not going to say they're better. I just think that they're used more often. They're definitely better than 1819. 
Yes, because at that way, point, digital, digital effects were uh, a person in a white sheet on a on a rope. And it's That's like, true. Oh my god, look at the ghost or the KKK member. It depends on what movie you're watching. But uh, yeah, so I think we're all. I would say this. I think that 2019 is going to have better films than 2020. Probably. All right. I can't look back because looking back two years ago is like very difficult for me. That's that's what I, I have no idea. It was a shot in the dark. I tried. Uh, what about 2017? Oh, in that case. So we know with absolutely. We know with um. With 2020, the big blockbuster films that are coming out, we obviously don't know about the little ones. We just haven't done the research. We They don't even announce some of these littler ones. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure there'll be little films that we love. Um, so that's all I have today for our review. Um, do you guys have anything to add? No, I don't. All right. Have- <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy to New everyone. Year. And, uh, to all uh, the recordiacs out there. It's been a year of us doing this dumb thing that we do every so two often months sometimes it's 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 either every other week or it's yeah. once every four weeks or it's three every times in one week. night so that's what you get with us you yeah. never know when you're getting an episode it's just going to be yeah. on a friday yeah. at some point yeah. but it's been it it's been a year of us doing this and to the people who still listen we don't understand why but we appreciate <laughs> yeah, what are you it because <laughs> <laughs> at this point it's more hey we're going to sit around and drink these beers anyway. You want to just talk about shit while we do it? Yeah, yep. there's like a lot of podcasts, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, three and a half hours of yeah. editing later. You're listening to this. Yeah, I mean, product. Shane and I don't do any of that editing, so yeah. our people puts a lot more work in this than we do. We, we do the stuff that has to get edited out. Yeah. Yep, but thanks. I really appreciate it, We just want to say... I wish that we appreciate you guys listening to yes, we do. this dumb thing. That I wish we there do. was some way. Even when have... you don't respond on Twitter, or Instagram, and don't subscribe, yeah, we, just, all, we all. I appreciate wish there was it. some way that we could have everything that was ever taken out of an episode and release and just that. Make that an episode, just <laughs> yeah. so people could see the ridiculous shit that has to get taken it's... out. <laughs> well, we're gonna be launching a, a free Patreon soon. We're just gonna do hey, crazy speaking stuff. Speaking of launching services, before we wrap this up, well, no, I, I thought things we were... that are coming out this year. Instead that of Patreon, Apple TV Plus thing, I don't know what the fuck that is. I think you get it with any Apple product, doesn't it? You get. You I, th- I think if you buy it you from any... Apple, like because I bought something from like Best Buy and I didn't get it, but if you could buy they it from like, Apple, you get it. So they free... want you to spend the whole thousand dollars on the phone before yeah, they give it to you. They got like them. big time the, actors you know on their series. They're, they're my Chrome of the year. Fuck Apple. All right. And also, it's five bucks a month. The Peacock streaming service NBC is supposed to come out in April, I believe. Can't wait for that but to uh, start and then fail immediately. Yeah. Why do they need all their shows are on Hulu? Because they're gonna pull they're pull, pull from Hulu. That's stupid. No they're pulling. They're pulling. They're pulling the Office. That alone, people will pay for. But they're not pulling out until next year, right? Yeah, not until next year. Not until 2020. So they're going to start with just friends and see how that goes. That's stupid. That's a streaming service right there for people, too. That's what I'm saying, yeah. That's stupid. By the way, we haven't done an episode since. We just wanted to let the audience know that via your vote, Roberto Alleged Pleasures was the winner of our sitcom draft, which we're all just thankful that you guys didn't vote for the Fresh Prince. (laughs) I actually voted for the Fresh Prince to win. Guys, pity out of pity. pity. It was a solid list. Just give me a break. <laughs> it was solid theme songs he, across he the board. He pulled the carpet out from under me with scrubs. I panicked. Yeah, but... Give me a break. You, you've been making this argument for a while now, and written above scrubs that you crossed off of your list was Seinfeld. And you still didn't take them. I didn't I didn't expect that to make it past like the second pick, honestly. <laughs> well, it did, and you didn't take it. So, Bob, uh, I think Roberto won because he got all the cult shows. That 70s no, show. I got, it was like a... Uh, so I had Scrubs. I had uh, Parks and Always Rack. Sunny in Philly. No, you had Parks and Rec. No, nah, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. No, Joe had Parks and Rec. I had Cheers. I don't know if there's any uh, uh, more <clears throat> mature listeners out Did there. Did you get Mash, too? No, no I RP got Mash. And he got fucking Home Improvement and thinks I forgot about it. And The I'm Office. Never forgive him for that. Roberto was standing over my bed when I woke up the day after that. Yeah. He was like, I will never forget. Unrelated. This. Like misery? Did he? Did he? Uh, it, was an un- your, it was an it was an unrelated like bed standing over. But yes, yeah. I was standing over his bed. Well, you, you do that most mornings, don't you? Hey, how else am I supposed to wake him up? <laughs> it's true. He's the top bunk. All right. Well, I think that's it for us. I, I did want to thank you guys again for the, everything listening. Three hundred and sixty-five uh, days of our bullshit. Bullshit. Um. 
everyone around the world that's actually listening in Spain, uh, Istanbul, uh, you know, Japan. Didn't we have a Japan? We had a big, we had big Japan. We had fifty-five listeners from Japan this year. Yeah, um, huge Japan. Yeah, it was when we were talking about Game of Thrones. I think. Jesus no, no, no. That was Marvel. Disney. Disney, Disney. Uh, Marvel got Australia. It's just this <laughs> is really surprising how people find podcasts. We had, uh, oh, you said Israel. We had, uh, we had a lot of. Uh, hey, I have a lot of family in Israel. That's true. Uh, fam- as your as your Mexican wrestler, Canada, Sweden, you would unex- you wouldn't expect it, but yes, I do have a lot of family. Uh, Italy, well, literally all over the world, but maybe even one time yeah. previously recorded has been listened to, and I think that's pretty cool, guys. Yeah, I think we've that's been on every cool. continent this year. Yeah, I think so too. I've only gone to Wildwood, <laughs> but as far as my voice goes, I've been in every continent this year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, as always, remember to like, subscribe, rate us. Uh, you know, wherever you listen to podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Premium, uh, Spotify, um, at SoundCloud. And uh, the year Center. 2020, don't forget about Jack at Totally Tees. That's true. It's a new year. You're going to need some t-shirts for it. We're going to be starting live hologram streams uh, right to your phone so you can watch us while we do this yeah. naked. Throw out those old t-shirts you've been hanging on to. And time to get some new Get some new ones. Totally Tees is here for you. Bring in the new <laughs> year with some new t-shirts. Yeah. Yep, I like it. Yeah. All right, guys. New Year uh, t shirts. Happy new holidays. Yeah. Happy holidays and uh, happy, happy new year. Happy